Okay, they're painted, but before I reveal it, welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Today I'm putting on a grill overlay on my GMC AT4. So one thing about the AT4 that I wanted to change right off the bat was the color of the grill. And most people go gloss black, so I'm gonna be crazy and I'm gonna make mine white. So I bought an overlay instead of taking the grill apart. That way if I don't like it, I'm only invested for a couple hundred dollars and a little bit of paint. So this specific grill I had shipped here out of country and it was shipped broken. So both of these spots were broken on the inside here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I have glued them and uh, they just need to be scuffed up a little bit and then we'll start painting. Now I had a decision to make. Do I paint all of this white or do I mask the mesh on the inside here? I felt if I did it all white, I would probably have too much white going on and not enough contrast. So I'm in the middle of masking this out as you can see. And I did have to do a cutout, kind of a, a Superman symbol shape, if you will, for the uh, camera. And uh, so I'm gonna have to prime it, paint it white, clear coat it, then unmask this section and probably uh, sand this a little finer and add some clear coat to that so it's glossy again. Anyway, let's uh, get started on the prep, get painting and see how it turns out. Let's go. area all masked up. You can see I had to cut little pieces of tape for where some of the mesh actually covers the plastic that's going to be painted. I'm not worried about that being perfect because I'm going to use a modeling brush later and before I do any of the clear coating I'll just clean up any of the lines if they're not straight with either a gloss black paint or the white that I'm going to be using on this grill which is color matched to my truck. So I think it'll look pretty good. I'm not uh, too sure until I paint it and take it all off. So next we're gonna scuff these up with some Scotch-Brite and then we're going to put down some plastic primer, then we're gonna put down our top coat and then we'll look at everything, make sure it looks perfect and then we'll clear coat it all. So let's go.
Okay, they're painted, but before I reveal it, I did change it up a little bit. So I still kept the two-tone, so the white surrounds around the black mesh, but I didn't like on the edges where you saw me masking it out so the mesh would overlap on the white. I didn't think it looked good. I think it looks much cleaner just making straight tape lines, so that's what I did. And here's the end result. So there you go. This is what they'll look like together. So I'm going to open the garage and we're going to lay them on and we're going to have a look. So there's the before. And there's the after. What do you guys think? I still gotta put the clear coat on it so it's not as shiny as it should be. So it's gonna be shiny like that. This was color matched paint in the same paint code as what my paint is, but I can see it's a tiny bit off. I don't think it matters too terribly, but yeah, there we have it. I'll turn the vehicle around and get the sun pointed on it too. So there it is. I'm still going to put Hyper Dip around the GMC logo here in black. So stay tuned for that. It's not secured right now. I can still take it off. There is 3M adhesive here. I'm going to clear coat it with several coats and then I'm going to fix it back on there. And that'll be it. Let me know what you think in the comments. The whole point of this was to be different and not just have it all gloss black. But the nice thing is I could scuff it up and paint it all gloss black if I wanted to. So there you go. If you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider, oh wait, I got a surprise. Hold that thought. We have more car parts. I got this brand new intake, which will be in an upcoming video. So make sure you hit subscribe, hit like on this video, and we'll talk to you next time.